All right, this is probably be a short video, but I think it's important to cover. We're gonna talk about pages. So how do we create pages inside of Ghost? So come back over here to the screen and you can see here, we've talked about this dashboard. We talked through this, we did a video on post. Now we're looking at pages. So if we click on pages, the pages are separate from post. Posts are gonna show up like in your main blog. Pages, however, are going to uh, potentially be like in your navigation. So you can see we kind of started one here with this work with me. So you click on this add page. I'm just going to come up here and uh, click on edit since we already have this going on here. Now this is very similar to blog posts. That's why I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here, but you would want to throw in your text in here. So um, can let's see if chat GPT can just give me some dummy text. Can you create I don't even know if it knows what dummy text is. I think it's lorem ipsum, so we'll try to spell that. So lorem ipsum text. All right. This is just a, a web developer, or it's a bunch of dummy text that isn't words. That just gives us some words to work with for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to come in here. Now I can come in here and tab down. I want to make this look good, right? Let's say if I click down and I hit this plus sign, I can put a divider. So I want a nice looking divider here. Let's say right here, I want an image. So I can upload an image or I can come down here to Unsplash and I could find me a good image. Let's go with this old fashioned photo here. Insert image. There it is. If I want to make something a link, I would just highlight this and I can make it a link. Let me show you one other thing. Let's say this is a work with me page, but you want them to schedule a call with you, right? So there's a couple things you could do. You could use some type of uh, HTML and like do an embed of Calendly. There's a way to do that. But let's say we want to keep it real simple. We just want to add a button. So we're going to come in here and it's very simple. What do you, what is the button text, right? So the button text would be, um, book a call today. Now notice by default, the color is the accent color of the site. So it's going to be true throughout it. Again, it's limiting your options, but I think that's good. The button URL is going to be the link to your Calendly or whatever it is that you're using. I'm just going to put ebay.com just so we can show you how this looks and how it works. Now you can decide if you want this to be over to the left or you want it in the middle. And that's basically it. Click off of it. Boom. All right. Click on update. And awesome. So we can click on this just like the others and add in things here that we want. Certainly could do that. Let's click back pages. And um, yeah, so we got our work with me site right here, right? If you remember, if we go to view our website and we click on work with me, we've got some of the dummy text, the divider, the image, scroll down and oh, book a call. Bam, takes me right to eBay which is the link I set up. That is just, it's intuitive. I absolutely love it. It's simple and it keeps things simple. You don't need any more than that. You need it to look nice, you need it to load fast, and you need simple things like buttons, images, text, links. That's what matters the most. Okay, the only other thing here is tags. It's up to you if you wanna use tags. Some people don't really use tags. This is just like tagging for categories of your posts and pages. I traditionally don't use a lot of tags for my posts. I used to way back when, they became less useful, so I don't. And members is going to be where your uh, newsletter subscribers are going to show up because this has a built-in way of doing um, email list, which we're gonna get to in another video. That's it for this one.